All right, what is up, guys? Hacks here. Welcome to part three, uh, I think, of Pokemon Red Rescue Team. So in today's episode, I believe we are going to check out Wigglytuff and uh, all that good stuff. Um, so I haven't done these voices in a while, so I'm hoping that everyone sounds kind of the same. But yeah, I told Geico about the dreams. Hmm. Okay. Hacks, you said you're actually human, right? So maybe. Those dreams have some connection to how you became a Pokemon, Hacks. By the way, Hacks, what do you want to do? Do you want to turn back into a human? It's true. I haven't thought about it much, but... I'll, do I want to become a human again? I'm not sure. Huh? What's wrong? Is this a dilemma for you? Well, I hope so. It sure must be more fun to be here with me. Haha. <laughs> anyway, we're supposed to go to the Pokemon Square today. Do you remember? We need to get information on how we can add members to the rescue team. Let's get going. Yeah, so I hope his voice sounded okay. Um, what are you selling? I don't have any TMs. You suck. You have big ass apples. I don't want anything. Hello! I don't know how I'm gonna do Kangas Khan's voice. Alright, Wigglytuff. Friends are my treasures. Welcome to Wigglytuff Club. A circle of friends. Oh? This is your first visit here? Oh, I get it. You started a rescue team too, didn't you? You've come to the right place. I sell friend areas to add members to your rescue team. I think it's a guy Wigglytuff, actually. Oh god, now I have to do... <laughs> now I have to do his little chant every time I buy something. Now you can recruit Pokemon that live in these two friend areas. How do you recruit new members? Well, if you're fighting Pokemon that live in a friend area, sometimes they will come to admire you as a friend. In that case, they may ask to join your team. Just keep trying. You're giving friend areas away. Can you also give my friends access to the power plant friend area? I also want to join their rescue team. Okay, gotcha. I'm giving it away today! Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff, let's be friends! Ta! Congratulations! You can, go, can now go to the power plant. See, he sounds kind of gay. Because he acts kind of gay. Yes, I can now join their team. Yay! Mm, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I know my friend turned down your offer to join your team yesterday. But after mulling it over all last night, my friend developed an overwhelming desire to become your team member. See, I'm exactly like that, honestly. Like, if somebody's like, hey, Bryce, you want to go, you know, jack off <laughs> or something? I'm like, ah, no, nah, it's a time. I'll seriously, like, when I'm trying to go to sleep, I'll lay there and I'll be like, holy shit, I want to do that so bad now. I'm Like, I'm like that with video games. When I want to play them, I'm like, oh my god, all I want to do is play this video game. I haven't had that feeling in a long time. Magnemite. Hmm. <clears throat> um. But yeah, I haven't had that feeling in a while. I'm gonna name him Positive. I hope I spell it right. <laughs> because, you know, he has a positive charge. I'll be resting up in the power plant friend area. If you want me along for a rescue, come get me at the power plant. Okay. I never really actually use him. You can go to your friend area by taking the left path from your rescue team base. There's a sign on the path to the left, left of your rescue team base, so you shouldn't have any trouble. That's all the giveaways today. If you want more friend areas, you'll have to buy them now. Great fucking dude. Welcome. This is Felicity Bank. How may I serve you? How much do you wish to deposit? Um, I'll put in a good five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred poke. Very well. I will guard it jeal jealously. <coughs> so, huh? What's going on over there? There seems to be commotion. Oh God! Shiftry's voice is gonna be weird. Please help my friend. I need help. Forget it. We're not about to work for that. But my friends need a gust of wind, please. Hi, what's going on? Huh? 
That scene there. Jumps off spreading for a rescue mission, but not finding any luck. See that guy? Damn, we're already to this point in the game. There, the one in the middle with the pointy nose, he's a Pokemon named Shiftry. He's got his own rescue team. But his team's greedy. They don't work unless they get paid royally. Jumpluff's been begging for help, but I feel sorry for that poor Pokemon. Wait! Holy shit. Oh, wh what do you want? Oh, it's Alakazam! That's Alakazam! Oh, God. Hey, rather cold-hearted, aren't you? Oh, I can't do anything. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how someone that's wise was on. Hey, rather cold-hearted, aren't you? To save Jumpluff's friend, a strong wind is needed. Your leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. It's an easy matter for you. Help that Pokemon out. Dude, this team was so boss back in the day when I was young. I was like, oh my fucking god. Jizz in my pants every time I see them. I'm like, I want to be just like them. Grr. Okay, we'll do it. Wow, that shifter agreed without any argument. Say, who are they? What? You don't know? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I already forgot his voice. You don't know? It's Alakazam's team. They're the most famous rescue team around these parts. That's Charizard. His flamethrower can melt mountains. That's Tyranitar. He takes great pride in his armored body and strength. I'm pretty sure he is the armored Pokemon, so... And that's the leader, Alakazam. Alakazam does not like... Doesn't like physical fights. He fights with his psychic powers. He's endowed with an amazing brain and an IQ of 5,000. Apparently, he's memorized everything that's happened in the world. Alakazam does all the commanding on the team. He's clearly in charge. So, thank you. No need for thanks. It's only natural that you get help. If anyone turns you down again, come see me. Take care. Dude, I'll come see you. You're a fucking winner. He's just like... Yo, what's up? Wh what's wrong? What's up? It's fine, nothing. Let's go. He was all like dark and Phew! That was scary. Sheesh. That's the voice. Okay, cool. Phew, hacks. We need to become like them. Let's recruit more members and make our rescue team first class. We need a nice water type. Oh, and there's that one. Not if I can help it. <laughs> I, it's it's hard to do voices for the villains because I want them to have like a low raspy creepy voice and it, like like that voice fits Shiftry and Gengar like um, Gengar's voice might be a little more high-pitched because he's um, kind of like outgoing like <laughs> or Shiftry's just kind of like yo I'll fucking kill a bitch I don't know I don't know it's weird it's hard for someone who's never done much of this um, I'll accept that um, for, for someone who's never done any voice acting until, like, the last three videos of mine, um, I'd say, I'd say I'm doing okay. How do I fucking open this? Okay. Job list. Take job. Mount Steel, floor eight. Okay. Well, let's get going. Uh, I don't think I'll cut this out quite yet. Um, Mount Steel, again, is kind of a shorter dungeon. So, um, yeah. Um, okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I sure can. <laughs> Sorry, it's dark, so I can't really see my keyboard, and that doesn't really help the fact that I don't know what the buttons, which button, which buttons are which. Okay. All right. Well, I don't. I don't know what to talk about. Um, I talked about this in my sacred gold video, and I, I'm so excited for it. So that's why I'm talking about it again. So if you didn't see that video, um, you should you should go check it out. Um, it's part 11. If it's not uploaded yet, then uh, um, it will be shortly. I'm I'm assuming because I've already recorded it. All I have to do is edit it, edit and render. So nothing too crazy there. I'll proceed. Um, so yeah, um, basically what I'm what I'm planning is like I'm gonna start trying to hack um, Pokemon, like like legit make a hack. 
like uh, kind of like Pokemon Light Platinum, you know, how it's a completely new generation. I don't really like games like that quite as much, but I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do it. Um, I have another plan, but I'm not gonna tell you guys because that'll ruin kind of like the future of my channel because I will end up playing um, the other thing I have in mind on my on my channel. Um, but as far as this uh, hack goes, if I ever get around to finishing it. Um, it'll be really cool and obviously a really cool experience for me because I, I really want to go into video game design and you know maybe even writing um, as a as a career in the future so um, if I can uh, you know get some experience at this age with uh, not necessarily hacking but just kind of developing my own game um, then that'll look good on a resume especially for like jobs and obviously when applying to colleges um, they'll, they'll definitely look for stuff like that when you have um, past experience on your own. Um, so anybody out there who is thinking about going to college, definitely try to get some experience. If it's something that you can get experience with before college, like for instance, obviously something on the internet like this, um, I need to start learning how to code things and all that sort of stuff. Oh, Tyrogue, he's so cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I definitely recommend getting any experience at all possible. So if, for instance, you want to do video game stuff like me, definitely try to get into coding and um, make your own video game. For me, I don't really have a computer that can run much right now, which is why I'm just going to hack a Pokemon game instead of actually trying to code. Um, one day, I might try to like uh, code a web page or something. Um, I'm not exactly, exactly sure how coding works because, uh, like I said, I have no experience at this point. But with the hack, I'm going to try to just create a new hack, like obviously using a software somebody else made. But normally that's how video games go. Like when you're a video game designer, people will create the engine, and then from that engine, you create the video game based on you know um, art and things like that that uh, other people give you. Well, what do you drop, orange? So yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do uh, <laughs> going to do and um, I'm really I'm really excited because uh, I really want to do stuff like this for a living so um, I, I have some pretty cool ideas already but I want you guys to ha um, kind of interact with it um, I want you guys to kinda you know tell me tell me some cool ideas you might have like if there's things you want implemented into a game of Pokemon that you don't think that they're ever going to actually do then uh, just tell me, and I'll gladly um, help you out with that and try to implement some cool stuff into my game, if at all possible. Um, so yeah, that's basically where that's going right now. Sorry, I had to look at my keyboard because I can't see. Why can't, is my bag full? I want to assume my bag's full. Okay. Um, so yeah, definitely if you have some cool ideas for a Pokemon game, leave them in the description. I have one idea. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to like brainstorm, you know, um, just a whole bunch of ideas. Uh-oh. Yes, I will save them. Um, so I have some cool ideas and I need to start developing them and start, you know, writing the game and kind of make like a basic outline and then, uh, then start writing like a script kind of um, all that cool stuff um, because I'm going to try to spend a lot of time on this <laughs> and I wish I would have started earlier honestly because I'm 16 so if I spend one year on it I'm already almost done with my sophomore year in high school if you don't know what that is it's grade 10 um, out of 12 for Americans if you're international and don't know what a sophomore is then uh, yeah so crap I hate when this happens so I have some pretty cool ideas but if I start now and I spend exactly one year on it I'm already almost done with my junior year and that just leaves my sophomore year to get more experience with um, coding and video game stuff so that's that um, so kinda scary I might try to do other stuff while uh, again working on this project um, so yeah but again, leave some cool ideas down in this in the description you may have, um, because I'm really looking forward to doing this, and I really want to be able to kind of interact with you guys. Um, once I get kind of like 
um, far into the game and I have like the first little bit made, I might make a trailer or something because, you know, that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Um, to see a trailer. Since I do make videos on YouTube, I might as well just make a trailer. Jobless, that's what I want. Okay, and uh, <laughs> I apologize if you can hear sn snoring in the background. This is ridiculous. But uh, um, I'm recording it. My brother's asleep right behind me, and he just kind of started breathing really heavy. So um, if you if you hear that, apologies. But yeah, I'm I'm just so excited about this game uh, that I really hope to be making. Oh, I don't have an apple. I'm not too concerned. Kill it. Okay, let's go. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's that's basically all I have to say on that. I mean, not much to say. Did I go to the wrong dungeon? Oh, no, I'm in Thunder Wave Cave. Bottom floor, four. Destination floor has been reached. Okay, cool. Um, there's an old Ella kid. Oops, don't want to go there. Beldum, yeah. Thank you. How would a Beldum speak? That's weird. Beldum's... I don't know. Like, most Pokemon have personalities. Beldum's just kind of... How are you supposed to tell what mood he's in? I just want to do a voice. No big deal. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. I, I didn't do his voice. Shit, my bad. Why do I keep saving? Okay, so this is where the game actually starts to pick up in speed, I think, after about two rescue missions. And I think that's a good place to end it, honestly. Um, kind of a shorter episode for me, um, but 17 minutes is still pretty long in comparison to other YouTubers. So um, I think that's good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like rating, uh, favorite, comments. Definitely comment about the uh, hack that I plan on making. Um, like, if you have a cool idea for a, uh, a region name, because I, I haven't thought of a region name yet. Um, then, uh, yeah, leave me some comments, that'll be cool. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or I already said all this, you know, peace out. <laughs>